China is accelerating at an astonishing pace in terms of innovation and technological development. Its knowledge-based economy has reached exponential levels, propelling the country into a new era of global leadership. One of the early signs that China was rising fast came during Donald Trump's first term when he tried to cripple tech giants like Huawei. Today, Trump's renewed support for wide-ranging tariffs on Chinese goods is partly driven by fears that China has not only caught up, but is leaping ahead. We assumed China would remain the world's factory, producing sneakers and smartphones, not science fiction-level tech. But we were wrong. China is now home to some of the world's most advanced infrastructure, AI systems, energy solutions, and aerospace programs. Fast forward to 2025. China is now rewriting history. It's not just catching up, it's reinventing what's possible. From massive infrastructure feats to nuclear innovation and artificial intelligence, China is setting the pace. So here's the big question. Could the once sleeping giant now be driving the future? Before beginning this exploration, like this video, hit that subscribe button now. Now, let's dive into the groundbreaking Chinese innovations that are reshaping the global landscape. The world's tallest suspension bridge, Rongjiang Bridge. In 2025, China officially opened the world's tallest suspension bridge, the Rongjiang Bridge, located in Guizhou Province. This colossal feat of engineering hovers 625 meters, 2,051 feet, above the Beipan River Valley, making it taller than any other bridge on the planet. Stretching 2.8 kilometers in length with a main span of 1,420 meters, the bridge connects the counties of Liping, Shui, and Kongjiang, slashing travel time from four hours to just one. Built at a cost of roughly 1.4 billion yuan, around 200 million euros, this project showcases China's strategy to modernize and integrate its more remote and mountainous regions. It's a clear example of how infrastructure investment isn't just about convenience. It's a tool for transforming local economies, boosting tourism, and enhancing logistics. To compare, France spent 1.4 billion euros just to clean the Seine River for the Paris Olympics, claiming it would make the water safe for swimming. That same amount of money could have built five Rongjiang bridges, each one an enduring marvel. Even the bridge's predecessor, the Bai Panjiang Bridge, 565 meters tall, was also Chinese. The Rongjiang Bridge, now expected to handle 20,000 vehicles daily by 2030, symbolizes a broader ambition, engineering excellence tied directly to national development a car factory bigger than San Francisco BYD's Gigafactory. In Shenzhen, Guangdong province, Chinese electric vehicle giant BYD has built a car manufacturing plant so large it rivals entire cities. Operational since 2025, this factory spans an incredible 130 square kilometers, or about 50,000 acres, roughly the size of this isn't just a facility. It's a city-sized complex capable of producing 2 million electric vehicles annually. That's BYD alone, not the whole Chinese auto industry. And what's even more impressive? BYD started out as a battery company. Today, it's one of the world's largest EV manufacturers, taking on Tesla, Volkswagen, and Toyota in global markets. The plant cost about $10 billion to build, a fraction of the 1 trillion euros in new public debt accumulated by France in recent years. Yet with that money, China has built a state-of-the-art production hub that employs over 100,000 people, both directly and indirectly. The first functional thorium, nuclear reactor TMSR-LF1 in Gansu, in 2025, China achieved a breakthrough in nuclear energy, the world's first operational thorium molten salt reactor, known as TMSR-LF1. 
Located in Wuwei, Gansu Province, this experimental reactor produces two megawatts of power, not massive, but revolutionary in concept and safety. Thorium is three times more abundant than uranium and significantly safer. Unlike traditional reactors, thorium reactors can't melt down. Even more critically, they produce far less radioactive waste. And what waste they do generate has a half-life of about 300 years versus 10,000 for uranium-based systems, built at a cost of 22 billion yuan, around $3.5 billion USD. This project is spearheaded by China's National Nuclear Corporation and supported by decades of research. It's part of China's strategy to lead in fourth-generation nuclear technologies, with massive implications for clean energy. A million military drones ordered autonomous warfare revolution, reports from 2025, indicate that the Chinese military has ordered up to one million drones, ranging from reconnaissance units and combat UAVs to micro-drones for logistics and surveillance. Though not fully confirmed by official sources, multiple state-linked outlets and leaked data suggest the scale is real and staggering. China's 2025 defense budget is estimated at $245 billion USD, even if just one, 5% of that is allocated to drone procurement. That equates to $2.50, 12 billion in drone investments, enough to reshape modern warfare. Models like the Wing Lung series are already exported to countries around the world, and China dominates the global drone supply chain. This massive drone order would further consolidate China's edge in autonomous systems and AI-guided combat platforms. It represents not just a military expansion, but a full-blown industrial strategy to dominate air-based automation. Flying taxis become reality. Ehang's EH-216 takes off. In 2025, Guangzhou-based startup Ehang made headlines by officially launching commercial operations of its autonomous flying taxis, the EH-216. These electric vertical takeoff and landing um, eVTOL aircraft are now operational in cities like Shenzhen and Hangzhou, carrying passengers through urban air corridors. The EH-216 seats, two people, flies up to 35 kilometers on a single charge and can complete 220 flights daily. With certifications from China's Civil Aviation Authority, it's the first flying taxi in the world to achieve regulatory approval for commercial use. Each unit costs around $300,000, on par with a high-end Tesla, but airborne. These flying taxis are already being used for airport shuttles, sightseeing tours, and short urban commutes. Urban air mobility is expected to be a $1 billion market in China by 2030, perhaps more, given this head start. If you're impressed by these game-changing innovations, hit that subscribe button. More incredible stories are on the way. Stay updated and informed. World's largest green energy corridor. Over 400 gigawatts of clean power. By 2025, China has completed the world's largest green energy corridor, stretching across 13 provinces and delivering over 400 gigawatts of clean energy more than the total electricity consumption of Germany and France combined. This project, part of China's West to East Power Transmission Program, links solar farms in deserts, wind farms on plateaus, and hydropower from mountain rivers directly to industrial hubs on the eastern coast. The backbone of this corridor is ultra-high voltage UHV transmission lines, a technology pioneered and perfected in China. These UHV lines can carry electricity over 3,000 kilometers with minimal losses, an engineering feat Western countries have yet to replicate at scale. One such line runs from the deserts of Xinjiang to Shanghai, powering millions of homes with solar energy harvested hundreds of miles away. This initiative isn't just about clean energy. 
It's also about energy security, industrial scaling, and regional development. It reduces coal dependence, slashes carbon emissions, and stabilizes energy prices across the country. Most importantly, it shows that green energy doesn't have to be small scale or niche. It can be national infrastructure. The world's fastest maglev train, 600 kilometers per H prototype completed. China has developed and successfully tested the world's fastest maglev train, a futuristic prototype that reaches 600 kilometers per hour, 373 miles per hour. This high-speed marvel, developed by CRRC Qingdao Sifang, uses magnetic levitation to float above the tracks, eliminating friction and enabling astonishing speeds. The train completed its maiden test runs in Shandong and is expected to begin commercial operations on routes like Shanghai Hangzhou or Chengdu Chongqing by the late 2020s. With such speed, a journey that once took three hours by car can be done in under 30 minutes, essentially turning cities into suburbs. This maglev system is also more environmentally friendly than airplanes. It emits less CO2 per passenger kilometer, runs on electricity, and requires far less infrastructure than airports and runways. China already leads the world in high-speed rail, with over 42,000 kilometers of lines in service. This maglev upgrade is a quantum leap. China's private space race, galactic energy, and beyond. In 2025, China's private space sector is booming. Startups like Galactic Energy, iSpace, and Deep Blue Aerospace are launching reusable rockets and planning satellite constellations to rival SpaceX. Galactic Energy, in particular, has achieved four successful orbital launches and is developing the Pallas-1, a Falcon 9-style rocket with vertical landing capabilities. These companies operate alongside China's state-run space giants, creating a hybrid model of state support and private innovation. Satellite internet, space tourism, and lunar mining are no longer distant dreams. They are development targets with real funding. China's Tiangong space station is fully operational, and a crewed lunar mission is planned before 2030. Meanwhile, commercial players are developing low-cost launch vehicles, smart satellites, and orbital tugs for debris cleanup. Europe's space sector, by comparison, is dominated by a few public agencies with limited commercial momentum. While ESA struggles with launcher delays, China is fostering a full ecosystem of aerospace entrepreneurs, engineers, and investors. In 1793, China rejected British technology as unnecessary. In 2025, it's building the future, on Earth and beyond. If this journey through China's tech future is blowing your mind, hit that subscribe button now. Let's keep exploring the future together, a wake-up call we can't ignore. China is no longer just competing, it's defining the pace and direction of global innovation. From AI-managed cities to flying taxis and thorium reactors, the once sleeping giant is now fully awake and building the future at breakneck speed. Meanwhile, the West risks becoming a spectator, bogged down by bureaucracy, politics, and complacency. We've allowed critical industries to stagnate, China, on the other hand, executes with speed, scale, and precision, not just catching up, but leapfrogging entire generations of technology. This isn't about fear. It's about recognition and readiness. If Europe and the U.S. don't act now, they won't just lose markets. They'll lose relevance. The world is entering a new era of innovation, and the rules are being rewritten in Beijing, Shenzhen, and Shanghai. So, if you care about where the world is headed, if you want to understand the technologies that will shape our lives, you need to stay informed. Subscribe now to follow this technological transformation as it unfolds. Don't let the future catch you by surprise.
Be part of the conversation. Be part of the solution. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Kimlude Media. Thank you.